That's two fine catalogues right there. Hornby Railways 1980 and Hornby's Railway 1981. Now, if we have a look here in the 1980 catalogue, it's the first site of the R535 GWR freight set. New, brand spanking new for 1980. This ideal set for the young enthusiast contains a GWR tank loco and four wagons plus a level crossing to add more scope to the play situation. The re-railer included will help small fingers to place the rolling stock correctly on the track. Contains one R333 GWR 040T loco, that's that one there, your 101. A R231 Texco Tanker, the R716 Scarwood Wagon, the R097 Arnold Sands Wagon, the R727 McVitie's Biscuits Van, an oval of track with re-railer, level crossing, and the R911 Controller with power clip, card tunnel, and catalogue. Look at that, the card tunnel. And obviously this catalogue. Track length is 105 inches, 2.7 metres, and you need... 96 by 79 centimeters so 38 by 31 inches so less than a meter so that's that's pretty good so that's that's 1980 catalog and there's the price list from house of oxford hornby r535 21 pound 55 now if we have a look in the 1981 there we go the r535 gwr freight set this is a lot simpler and a lot brighter catalog all it says it contains 040 tank loco, four wagons, oval of first radius track, requiring space 96 by 79 centimetres, 38 by 31 inches, level crossing and power controller. Now, it did actually change to the 912 power controller at this point, which is how I managed to date it for the year that I got it, because I got the 912 controller. Mine. The railer included with the track oval helps putting the rolling stock on the track and has a built-in uncoupling device. The car tunnel adds to the fun of working this lively and colourful set. So, sounds rather lovely, doesn't it? So, here we have one. An original 1980 GWR freight set by Hornby Railways, the R535. I managed to pick this up on eBay for a good price, £30, boxed with the R333-101 Great Western Railway tank engine, little 040, the Arnold Sands, the Scarwood, the McVitie's and the Texaco wagons. We've got the re-railer and uncoupler in there. We've got, if you can see just in there, well you can't, there's the track and there's the controller. So let's have a look at the box. So here we go, it gives you all the information of what's in there. On the side, on the top, GWR freight set space needed and there's your track plan and there's a picture of it all looking great and lovely it's got the same on the other side so you can put it either side on the shelf and then if we turn it around the other way gwr freight set so there you go that shows you all the contents with well it says scenic accessories not included but the card tunnel was and there's the controller and the level crossing so, and the back of the box is there looks very nice including mains controller so yeah that's a nice nice uh, nicely presented box set so we're going to have a look inside okay all right so now it's seen the light of day let's have a closer look so we've got the eight pieces of the r605 first radius curves track we've got the power clip there you've got the re-railer and uncoupler it's in there, fits nicely in there, along with a piece of the R600 track. We've got the R612 power controller. Good old days when you didn't get a plug on things. So I've got to wire that up. There's the connections on the end, and there's the speed and power control. Great, graded, graduated, what have you. There we go, we've got our little engine in there. Okay, well, I've just, just whipped one of the the buffers up, off. Look at that. He's in lovely condition. Hope he works. 
Old Arnold Sainz from Leighton Buzzard Wagon. We've got the Texaco Wagon. Very toy-like, this one. Got the Kellogg... Oh, sorry. The, got the McVitie's Bake Better Biscuit Wagon. Got to be honest with you. I don't think the Texaco and the McVitie's Wagons really look, period. But there we go. I never did at the time, either. So there's my Scarwood Coal Wagon as well. Also included which I find quite amazing after 40 years that it's still survived, is this uh, fold-up, clip-together card tunnel, which I shall put together and glue together at some point once I get this up and running. So that's, that's all the uh, play stuff. It also came in the catalogue, 1980 or 1981. I got that one with mine. You get your train set operating instructions. Look at that. All the info there. And this one even has a picture of that engine. That's from the GWR passenger set. There's the correct power supply. You can even do it with uh, batteries. Then, the Hornby Railways Locomotive Operation and Maintenance looks even stamped R535. This has survived from my childhood. This isn't the one I got from eBay. We open this up so it shows you how and what to do. So how to lubricate and maintain your engine to keep it running smoothly. All the tips and tricks. And the Hornby Railways International Service Dealer Network 57 edition. Sorry, 52nd edition. So what do we have for Norfolk and Suffolk? Let's see. Um, Norfolk, Edward Nunn. H.G. Hannant, Market Row, Great Yarmouth. Okay. I know of them. James Langley & Co., 20 Royal Arcade in Norwich, I remember them as well. RG Pilch, Briggs Street in Norwich. I don't know, but my dad probably does. Now, Suffolk, here we go. HG Hannon, 56 London Road North, Lowestoft. I just love poking about in that shop. I spent hours in there whenever I was in, in Lowestoft. That's long gone. But... Well, well, this could be a historic moment, ladies and gentlemen. I have wired up the plug. I've plugged it in, switched it on. Onto the R911 power unit, which has been clipped into the power clip and slid into the rails. I've put down my track, which I've rubbed down with a bit of fine emery paper because it needed it. And there is the R333. This is the first time, do you know what? I'm going to put the others on. This is the first time in living memory that I have had potentially a working R535 GWR freight set so we're going to pop the power on and see if A it powers up and B it goes in the right direction who knows come on get on there you're the you're the railer and uncoupler thing. Right. Let's have a look. R535 ready to rock and roll. Backwards. Right. Uh does it work? It works. Hesitantly, but it works. Success. We have a slightly derailed Hornby R535 GWR freight set operating, yay! It's going a bit quicker now, I'm going to leave it on for a while, let it run, look at that, whoa, there's our first derailment, 
Oh, and now we're going to have a crash. Boom! Cool, it's just like being a child again. Something's not right. But hey, it goes round. It's a start. I'm quite pleased about this. It's nearly 40 years ago since I got this for Christmas. And here is my original R101 GWR tank. The R333 Opal OT. Doesn't work. But now I've got that replacement one. And the whole set runs smoothly. Look at that, it's running really, really well. So I'm very, very pleased with this. So I shall uh, have to get that tunnel made up. Well, I forgot to put this on earlier, but there's the old level crossing that also came with the kit. So we've got that for a bit more playability. And we've got all folded up, and glued and taped together. The card tunnel. So it's all completed now, all set up and ready to play. The fold and stick Hornby card tunnel that used to come in the pack. We've got the track, the first radius curves with the railer and uncoupler. We've got the R911 power controller, the little power clip. And over here we've got the level crossing with a single straight R600 to match the uncoupler. And then coming back we've got the train set operating instructions, the locomotive operation maintenance instructions, the international service dealer network paperwork, the house of Oxford Hornby price list which if you look there at the top it's got R535 at £21.55 we've got the 1980 catalogue open on the page with the R535 GWR freight set because I've got two copies or more of the catalogue we've got the 1981 ticket to ride catalogue again open on the page there and then there's the train itself We've got the R333 040 tank engine, the Holden tank. We've got the Scarwood wagon. We've got the Arnold Sands wagon, the McVitie's biscuits wagon, and the Texaco tanker wagon. Look at that. And it can go slow as well as fast, like it ever went slow as a child. Always used to race around, so let's go right up, speed it up. and get ready to take this into work, edit, upload and put it up for your viewing pleasure. That is the Hornby R535 GWR freight set from 1980 and 1981.